All right, people. So here is the deck profile for Super Quantum. So Super Quantums are not on Daily Dooms anymore. For Friday, we have a different deck, which I believe is Moonlight. Uh, Moonlight will be replacing it. So uh, you get double Daily Duels once again. Deck profile for Super Quantum here, and be sure to go ahead and check out the first episode of um, Moonlight slash Moonlight on Daily Duels for the next upcoming month or so. So gonna go ahead and do the deck profile. Uh, this deck was fun. It really was. Just busting out that Megazord, adding in that Power Rangers theme song. Like I might just play the theme song in the background of this deck profile just for the nostalgia purposes. I mean, it was, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, like I said, the deck is a little bit inconsistent just because they only have four monsters. But uh, you know, maybe if they get like one more monster, I've seen the deck being thrown in as kind of like an engine in Monarchs. But you know, just being able to bust out that Megazord and just being like, ha 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 ha, I pretty much win. So it gives you that. That, uh, that tower triple feeling. It's cool that I get to carry that over. Instead of busting out the Megazord, I'm just gonna be busting out the the, the 3500 cat Leo bitch. So hopefully I'll be able to pull that off, crossing my fingers. Anyway, uh, of course we're running triple red layer, triple green layer, triple blue layer, and the little mascot, the Super Quantum Fairy Alfian, or whatever. So uh, they're all good in their own ways. Uh, red is good for special summoning, and you can target one of your Super Quantum cards in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. Uh, but what's in, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can go ahead and summon one from the graveyard with the effects again. So, not bad, not bad. Uh, green, I'd say, is probably the weakest out of all of them, but it has its uses. Uh, so, that's first effect, which I love to use. It definitely helps out, less out the Mega Zord. When this card is normal summon, special summon, you can special summon one Super Quantum Monster from your hand. So, uh, often I'll go ahead and hold on to my green, hold on to my red, and when I'm ready to bust out the Mega Zord, just go green, summon red, and then there we go, we get the ball rolling. So. Uh, it's a great artifact. I don't think I've ever used. I can discard a super quantum card to add uh, to draw one card. I don't like doing knowns for unknown, so I generally wouldn't use that effect. Uh, blue, blue is also really great. Probably the best one. When it's normal special summon, you can go ahead and add a super quantum uh, card from your deck to your hand, except for blue. And uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can target up to three super quantum cards in your graveyard, including itself, and shove them back to the tag. You don't get to draw, but it's cool. So that's why you've been seeing in the Monarch Engine, you only see one, but you're like three emergency teleports, but only one because you would manage to teleport someone blue and tribute off blue, blue, go to graveyard, shuffle it back and self and uh, self shuffle itself back into the deck for more emergency teleport shenanigans. So that's why there's only one in that monarch uh, super quantum deck. While red can kind of touch itself, so you can go ahead when it's normal special summon and it can special summon itself if you control all monsters, so you special summon red, and then red can target a red in the graveyard to grab it back and those kind of trying to whoop each other as well for more monarch tributing shenanigans. So that's why you've been seeing that. Um, then you have Super Quantum uh, Fairy, which is pretty good as well. I didn't use the whole target of Super Quantum Monster and all monsters, uh, all faces of monsters you control currently become that current level. I didn't really do that. I mean, you can go ahead and like have special summon the reds and normal summon this, have this become fraud, and then you know go into your resort. But generally, I'll use the second effect where you contribute this card, reveal three Super Quantum Monsters with different names, and have your opponent randomly uh, special summon one and the rest go to the graveyard, which is fun. Uh, you know, if I summon blue, I get a search, if I summon red, red can go ahead and get me uh, one of them, the other two that were sent to the uh, back to my hand, and green's the worst to get, but the thing is they all get to graveyard, and clearly we have some revival, this looks like a Uvel deck, and my play is to you know, summon this, tribute it off, and revive all of these, and go for that Megazord. So yeah, this card's actually pretty good. At first I was kind of judgmental of it, but it actually became very viable and helpful in uh, pulling off the Megazord pieces. Uh, then we have three Volcanic Shell. Uh, it was actually suggested to me that I play this card, and it has put in so much work. So, if you do not know, you uh, you can discard a card, then target one of your Super uh, Quantum Pilots, and then put the Zord on top of them. But you gotta discard a card, which means that you're going neg in your hand. But with a Volcanic Shell, pay that 500, you get another Volcanic Shell. So, there has been plenty of times in the duels where I'll have all three on the field. I just go, after my field spell. Use effect, pitch, volcanic shell, you're in the Zord, pay 500, get another volcanic shell, you can spell, pitch, you're in the Zord, and then pay 500, get another one, pitch, you're in the Zord, bam, Megazord. So, definitely helpful. So, if you're running this deck and you want to get in that Megazord quick and uh, efficiently, run the volcanic shell, it helps. Uh, then we have Triple Maxi. Now, I would not recommend this if you are ever playing a deck where you want to get cards that you specifically want to see. You know, specifically, if you want to see this card, don't run triple, because you, you might go ahead and max seed and draw into max seed. You can't, that max seed doesn't stack on top of itself, so, yeah. But in this deck, I want to draw. Like, that's the thing. I want as many cards in my hand as possible, so I can have plenty of cards to pitch for my field spell. So, max seed is great. Uh, even if I've drawn to a max seed, that's just another card I can pitch. So, 
Uh, that's the reason why I ran triple max to make sure that when my opponent wants to go off, I'm going to drop the max C, I'm going to draw a whole bunch of cards, and I'm going to drop that Megazord on you. So, hopefully you OTK me. If not, then, you know, here we go. Here comes that Megazord. Then, triple the fill spell. I'm not running in Terraforming because it's really easy to search out with blue. And I come in blue all the freaking time, so I didn't feel like a, a Terraforming was necessary. So, um, yeah, but you could probably run it. Uh, you, I'll talk about these cards when I get there. Uh, you probably don't use cards. You could probably run things that help you be more consistent in the plays of this deck, busting out that Megazord. Uh, so I'll go into that, but yeah. You, if you don't want to run Terraforming, you don't have to. Because blue can search it out, but yeah, I'll run that. Emergency Teleport, blue. Like, even even if it's only 3 to 3, blue. Because blue, can, of course, can shuffle itself back. So, of course, 3 Emergency Teleports, definitely. Uh, being able to go Emergency Teleport, start summon blue, then blue gets to search, and then look, I, I already got one of my uh, pilots on the field, and I haven't even normal summoned yet. So, I can probably just go ahead and Emergency Teleport, summon blue, be in my field spell, get a green or a red, and then normal summon green, start summon red, have my field spell, let's go. You know. Uh, Soul Charge. Summon all the monsters back from the graveyard, they're so good. I think I actually won one of the duels because I soul charged back the correct monsters and all of that and got into the Zord and I just won. Uh, one for one. Sure, I'll go ahead and one for one pitch, summon Super Quantum Fairies and Tribute, so uh, just helps out with that. And yeah, uh, like I said, these these are just precautionary back rows. I, I kind of ran them because I'm like, oh yeah, they're staple, but you really don't need them in this deck. Uh, they kind of get in a uh, hindrance uh, where you draw them but you don't want to use them like that. Uh, and they, they kind of get the too good to use syndrome. So I, if I were me, I would probably uh, go ahead and take them out. I would take them out and maybe run like, like you could probably run like two terraforming to make sure that you get your fill up, and then like three upstarts. So you could probably change this out. You don't need these because once you bust out the Megazord, I mean he, he's all good in himself. So you really don't need these other cards like uh, standard just hate. You don't need the hate. Uh, revival, call the Haunted Oasis, like I said. And you could probably throw in maybe like a Foolish or a Mathematician, send your monsters and revive them back, you know, kind of like what Teller Knights do. Uh, just the revival is real. I'll revive, I'll tribute, I'll, I'll summon them back from the graveyard, I'll summon the Zord back from the graveyard, and make sure that I bust out the next door. And then, it goes free. I don't care if I don't get to draw for the next upcoming turn, I don't care. As long as I get the card in my hand right now, I, know, I want I want the payment right now, so I can go ahead and, uh, Pitch all the cards that I drew with the full spell and make sure I bust out the Mega Zord. So, yeah. So, if, if it were me, I would probably go ahead and take all of this out, these five out, put in upstarts and two terraformings, and then I would probably take out maybe one of each or some of this, and then probably put like a foolish and a mathematician in. Because the revival gets kind of kind of cloggy. Kind of cloggy. So, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do those, uh, those changes now. <laughs> so you guys can go ahead and just see the deck. So we'll go ahead and just toss these inside. Like I said, you can play these, but they kind of just get in the way. They really do, and they get that too good to good, uh, too good to pitch them. Jump. There's been times where I have this, and I'm like, oh, but I want to pitch these. These are so good, but you know, if it's to, if it's for the greater good of busting out that Megazord, then sure, I don't care if I'm pitching upstart. So, yeah. So we'll go ahead and put two terraformings. That way, blue is not wasting its search on. Uh, Grabbing back uh, that, and then uh, I guess I'll drop down one of each because, like I said, they get kind of cloggy. And then we'll go ahead and put a mathematician to make sure that I send uh, my monsters. Whether it, it's probably going to be a blue, but you know, if I need these, send a green and revive it, and a uh, foolish. So, so I lowered the, the sending a little bit. Uh, getting them the graveyard plays, especially with red and stuff like that, is good as well. But the reckless, the reckless is just so good. We we've seen reckless in the past, so we're, we're hoping to have uh, triple upstart, triple reckless. Let's go. Uh, like I said this, that all I want to do is summon that Megazord. Uh, I'm running two because sometimes the one gets killed, and uh, I I can put it back with blue, but it's still you know it's good to just have two. Uh, and its effects are just so good, so good. Thirty uh, thirty six hundred uh, attacks monster. Uh, made with three level twelves, like I don't, even, I don't even know how that's possible. It's like not even <laughs> like level twelve you can buzz out. Like what is that? Three ultimate nightmares. Three ultimate nightmares just make this. All right, let's go. <laughs> but um, no, you can make this by the filth spell. If you have three of the super, uh, super common megazords, you can send this card to the graveyard and then special summon the megazord, uh, the megazord, and then put all of that on as a team turtle this. If you have two or more, you can attack team material during either player's main phase, and you can. Uh, shuffle a card back on the field back to the deck, so that's great. It's uh, four more, you're unaffected by card effects, and that's great. 
and six or more your opponent cannot add cards from their deck to their hand. Uh, I think that effect was kind of glitched on deck pro for a little while, because I had six and then I was dueling against raid directors and they were still adding cards from their deck to their hand. I was like, okay, whatever. And I was still affected by their play, so it's just kind of glitchy. But, just in case shit has a fan and they actually kill you, just in case, uh, if you read right here, it says card is sent to you can special summon three Super Quantum Mecha uh, Beast or Zords uh, from your graveyard with different names from your graveyard. So, pretty much, you kill him, I'm gonna get all three of my Zords back, and if I have another filled spell, I can go ahead and bam, here comes another great man. So, not bad, so he kind of replenishes some stuff as well. Uh, three red, three green, three blue. Uh, I generally didn't have to use this, but, uh, you know, when it comes to blue putting back, I generally don't want to put them back in the, in the extra act because I want them to be in the graveyard for the rival card, but then I also want them to be there uh, and make sure that I have enough count in, instead. And it's all about going to the sword. I don't care about these. Uh, let's play, I think I did maybe one Luxor Sky Charger with him, uh, Castell, four, and then Yemen's three. Because there's fours and threes in here. Why not? So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, mm, like I said, the deck is still looking a little bit inconsistent. A little bit. I'm still not sure about the mathematician. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and change it one more time. One more time. Like that. Yeah, like that. Like that. Because I'm kind of worried about the ratio. Like, the foolish is pretty good. You don't really need mathematician to waste of your normal summon. So, yeah. Like that. That that, that seems like a fun deck. <laughs> like I said, it takes a while. It takes a while on these decks on daily duels. Let's go ahead and number generate this up. So, I'll make sure I get that one terraforming. So I can terraform and search. Like I said, you can still search for it, so you probably don't need two. So, number generated, I'll probably open up with that one terraforming, terraforming gets that search for that uh, little spell, and then you can search for uh, red or green and get yourself set up. But you got your revival cards all ready to go, even if you have to revive some of these cards and just tribute them off, it's all good. It's, make sure that you have the, field sp uh, the zone space for this, because it actually summons the monster and then puts it in materials. Because I was, was like one duel, I was like, I, like, I have the requirements, why can't I summon, but all my zones were filled and I couldn't, you know, use my field spell to summon. So. Oops. Anyway, there you go. There's the deck profile for Super Quantum. So, uh, you guys can go ahead and take it, change it up, play it, have fun. It, it was a pretty fun deck. Uh, you know, just busting out that uh, that Megazord and just winning. So, hopefully, I'll have the same success and fun with the Moonlight busting out that uh, Leo. And uh, Leo can get ran over by the Megazords. Hopefully, I don't get betrayed by my own Zord. But, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, it was fun, it was fun, and if I haven't seen you guys already, I'll see you guys in daily duels using that first of many Moonlight Lunar Light duels. Alright people, thanks for watching.